I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to remove impacted earwax. Now, earwax, which we call cerumen in medicine, is a normal protective function of the ear. It forms both a physical barrier so that this inside of the ear doesn't get injured by dirt or insects. It also forms a chemical barrier against bacteria. So normally we're very happy to have earwax, and not having enough of it can predispose people to infections like swimmer's ear. Normally, earwax travels out of the ear canal on its own. It's formed in the last half of the ear canal toward the outside, and this skin grows outward, almost like a little conveyor belt that carries the wax out. So usually you don't have to do anything. But occasionally, with very dry or thick wax, or if somebody's been using a Q-tip in here, you can get what's called an impaction or blockage of the ear canal, especially right here where it tends to narrow or bend a little bit. When this is the case, you may get pain, an outer ear infection, or hearing loss. This really needs to be addressed by a doctor. Now, there are some things you can do to soften this wax up. There are over-the-counter medications, for example, like Debrox or docusate sodium that will soften the wax and help it come out on its own. You can also use mineral oil. I would not use vegetable oil because it can sit in the ear and go rancid, but that can also soften the wax. Or you can use a combination of half white vinegar, which is acetic acid, and half alcohol to help loosen the wax. But if that hasn't done the trick after a day or two, or if there's worsening pain or discharge, it's time to see a doctor. Doctors have a variety of tools to remove earwax. In a regular doctor's office, they'll probably have some form of an ear curette. And we're going to look through our otoscope while we're working in the ear to make sure we don't injure anything and make sure we're getting wax out, not pushing it farther in. But in some cases, that doesn't do the trick. In that case, we may use a lavage, a machine, that, or even just a syringe to push water in the ear if we know the eardrum doesn't have a hole in it. Uh, ear, nose, and throat doctors will have an operating microscope that allows them to see better inside the ear than most doctors can. And they'll also have a little suction device that allows them to actually suck wax out of there. So when the regular doctor can't get the ear wax out from a blockage, he or she may ask an ear, nose, or throat doctor to help using the instruments at their disposal. They may even ask you to install some medication in the ear and come back in a week or two for a repeat cleaning of the ear. The good news is most people don't get these blockages, and if you just see a little wax in your ear, give it a little time, it's likely to work its way out on its own. Talking about how we remove an impaction of earwax, I'm Dr. David Hill.